Hey, it's Sasha Avdukov, and in this video, I want to share with you why the market hates a strong dollar and what you really need to know about uh, the dollar movement. Uh, first off, you need to understand how the dollar plays into the stock market. Uh, first off, the stock market has a lot of companies, companies that deal business internationally. And the dollar itself is typically used as a safe haven or reserve currency for many countries out there. So if their currency is going bad, uh, they may uh, get more of our currency, but they're always looking at our currency as the safe haven. It's the good place to be. It's the place that makes them feel warm and fuzzy, where ev if everything is there nice and stable at the dollar, uh, then everything's okay at that country as well, uh, even though they have their own currency. Now, here's the thing. Since our dollar is used as a safe haven, and since a lot of companies uh, deal business internationally, uh, as the market goes up in terms of uh, a strong dollar, strong dollar rises, uh, this means that uh, business is actually more expensive and it's, it's much more difficult uh, to deal with business, exchange, uh, you know, pricing uh, overseas. So, you know, for example, companies that, uh, you know, do some trading um, or do some actual physical goods trading, you know, selling their products to China, to Argentina, to Brazil, uh, dealing in those currencies, they're still looking at our dollar. And this just makes it much more expensive for those companies. And uh, because it makes it more expensive for them, that's why the market doesn't like a strong dollar because typically then their earnings uh, will go down just slightly or just a little bit. So it kind of all ties together in this kind of fashion. Now it affects mostly uh, commodities and energy stocks. Uh, so for example, commodities like gold, oil, silver, uh, this is what happens. So uh, when the dollar bounces, commodities and energy companies uh, usually fall. And uh, it basically works kind of on an inverse relationship like this. Doesn't always happen, but typically uh, when the dollar bounces, it usually uh, will also affect commodities and energy prices. Uh, but in terms of um, telecommunication companies that are more local, stocks that are very focused on local, like for example, a Florida Power and Light company or a company that operates strictly uh, maybe in a certain region in the US that does all their business dealings uh, with the dollar, uh, then it may not affect them as much. But for a lot of other companies uh, that do a lot of international business, uh, this is why when the dollar rises, uh, those companies' stocks usually fall or the stock market a little bit uh, falls is because they don't like a strong dollar uh, due to the exchange rates, exchange fees, uh, dealing with international um, um, exchanges, products, and selling them. Uh, this is one of those reasons or a major factor. So I hope you found this video helpful if you've always been trying to figure out how the two fit together in terms of the dollar and the stock market. Uh, really, you're watching that as normally as the dollar rises, uh, stocks typically fall, but doesn't always work out this way. And usually the commodities and energy stocks are affected uh, highly uh, when this happens. So keep that in mind when trading, always keep an eye out for those kinds of things, especially if you're trading the commodities and energy companies or international companies, which most of the companies on the stock market are international. Uh, but as you're trading commodities and energies, you want to pay even more close attention uh, to the US dollar since it's used as a safe haven or reserve currencies for many countries. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see the stocks that I'm watching in the current market conditions today, the hot stocks of the day, so to say, then go ahead and sign up to my rapid recaps by clicking this link right here. And you'll, when you get to that page, just enter your name and email address and you'll get notified when I release the rapid recaps. And if you want to speed up your education, take your training to that next level, then check out some of my courses that I have available uh, on my website at tradersfly.com. Thanks for watching and remember to do what you love, contribute to others, and most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.